Shabbat Shalom, everyone. They tell a story about this guy who went up onto the roof of his building, and when he finished uh, spending some time on the rooftop, he went to the door, and the door had locked behind him, and he couldn't get off the roof. Unfortunately, he didn't take his cell phone onto the rooftop, and he was trapped on the rooftop. Not knowing what to do, he went to the ledge of the tall seven-story building and started to call out to pedestrians below to help him get off the roof, but nobody even heard him. So he didn't know what to do, so finally he had an idea. He had his wallet in his pocket, and he had a lot of cash in his wallet. So he started to drop dollar bills, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, figuring somebody below will catch it, look up, and see that he's trapped on the roof, and he'll tell them, help me out. But what happened was, when the money fell on the ground, people would just bend down, pick it up, put it in their pocket, and keep on walking. Nobody even paid attention. So not knowing what to do, he had used up all of his money, he looked around the rooftop, but he saw there were little pebbles. So he started throwing pebbles off the roof to get people's attention. Suddenly the pebbles started hitting people and people started looking up and screaming and yelling at, what are you doing? And they, someone called the police on him. Somebody's throwing pebbles from the rooftop. Sure enough, the police came up onto the rooftop and he said, thank you for coming. I was trapped on the roof, I couldn't get off. Thanks for helping me get out of here. Unfortunately in life, when God rains down blessings on us, we take the blessings, we put it in our pocket, and we go on with our life. We don't thank God, we don't look up to heaven to say thank you Hashem for the blessings. But when pebbles or rocks fall down on us and we have problems and challenges and struggles, suddenly we look up and we cry and we storm the heavens with protest. And the lesson of this is that we shouldn't wait for the pebbles to give God our focus and attention. We should say, God, rain down blessings upon us. We'll turn to you. We'll thank you. We'll be in a relationship with you and acknowledge you. But do it through love and through goodness and through kindness. This Shabbat is a very special Shabbat. It's called Shabbat Chazon. The Shabbos before the Tisha B'Av fast is called the Shabbos of Vision. Now this year, it's literally before Tisha B'Av because Tisha B'Av will begin on Saturday night. Why is it called Shabbat Chazon? Because the word chazon means vision. And the Haftorah tomorrow begins with chazon Yeshayo, the vision of Isaiah. And Isaiah talked about the destruction of the temple. And the destruction of the temple is not just a physical structure that was destroyed, but it's the destruction of our souls and spirituality in the world. That we pray for the rebuilding of God's presence in the world. However, Rav Levi Yitzchak Barditchev said that the word chazon means a vision that this is not just the Shabbat of Isaiah's vision of the destruction, but it's the Shabbat that we could all tap in to the vision of what the world would look like when the world will live in an era of peace and harmony, a world in which all the prophecies of the era of Mashiach, of the rebuilding of the temple, where a nation will not lift up sword against nation, we will not know any war, we will not know any jealousy. We should see a vision of a better world that we should strive for. We shouldn't just turn to God out of sadness and mourning and tragedy, God forbid. We should turn to God out of love, out of kindness, showing God and showing ourselves how we could achieve a better state of affairs in the world. When we see what's going on in the world, right now we see what's going on in Cuba. We see what's happening with human nature all around the world, strife, animosity, hatred, evil, anti-Semitism, we have to ask ourselves, is this the world we want or can we envision a better world? Shabbat Chazon challenges us to envision, strive and achieve a better existence. And then we can turn to God with love, with gratitude and with joy. Have a meaningful Shabbat Chazon. See a better world for yourself, for the world, for all of mankind. Shabbat Shalom.